Hey everybody, how's it going? So we're going to do a, a real quick video today about how to visualize your Z-Scene placement. There is a great little uh, feature within Idea Maker's Preview that helps to really visualize where the Z-Scene is going to go. And this will help you in setting up your print profiles to specify exactly where you want to put it because you have that level of control. So why don't we go ahead and exit out of this and we'll, we'll do this little, um, I'll show you a couple little things here on how you can test and play with this. So you can either bring in a print on your own or you know, you've got your own model here. I'm just going to use uh, some of the examples here and we'll stack some stuff together. So I'm just going to bring in a 20 millimeter cube and I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this a few times and we're just going to sort of stack some stuff around and uh, so we can better visualize where things are going to go. So I'm going to go ahead and put this this guy down here and I'm going to put this guy over here. I'm going to put guy oh I like this go on pick that put this guy like that uh, and then I'll put this dude up here and I'll sink him in like this and uh, so what I'm gonna do is since you don't want to really uh, mess with it like this, you want to control A and select everything, and I'm going to go ahead and just combine everything together. So you can right click and say merge, selected models, and you know, this is really just for testing and playing, right? So, um, you pick your model, go to your slice, uh, hit edit, and over here on the layer tab is where you can specify your layer start points, right? So, if we do something like nearest or random, uh, then you can specify if you want to try and place it on a reflex or a convex corner. Let's do the none and just see how this goes. So we'll just say nearest to wherever you are, let's go. Slice. And we're sitting at one hour and 24 minutes. I don't know if that's important or not, but we'll see it here in a second. So this is your typical preview. And the way I would normally do this in the past, I'm not sure when they added this feature, probably been there a while, I just never noticed it. But I would look at where the retractions are and I would look at the moves. And so as you sort of scroll up and down the layers, you can see where the X's are, and that's typically where your retractions will be. Well, there's a much easier way to do this now. If you just highlight this seams over here on the right and show seams, well, now you can see exactly where your seams are going to be. So they're kind of all over the place, right? They're, it's doing a good job and throwing it on corners uh, to try and hide it, but it's in splotchy areas, right? So a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit of little smorgasbord of Z seam all over the place. So if we close this and we go ahead and go back over to our slicing template and edit again, then we can start to tweak and tune some of these, um, these little settings right here in your start points. So if we say, instead of none, let's place this on a, um, on a reflex corner. So it's to be like an inside corner. Hit okay, slice, let's see what it does. So we're still at an hour and 24 minutes. We saved a few seconds there, nothing, nothing huge. Again, come over here and it's off by default. I kind of wish it was on. Um, and maybe there's a setting for that. So we'll do that. And so ooh, it's done something very tricky here. It has placed it on um, this inside corner, right? And this inside corner. And But when you get to the top, you don't have an inside corner. All you have is an outside corner. So it's got to pick it somewhere. So it's sticking it on both of these, uh, both of these back corners here. It looks like it's probably alternating uh, where it's going. Yeah, so it's skipping. Um, so, okay, cool, not bad. That's a good little spot. Um, so if we go back to the slice again, and hit edit. And now if we say, um, pick a convex corner. And this time though, we're gonna say, we're gonna do a fixed position. So I'm gonna do uh, middle of the bed uh, on the X and back of the bed on the Y, right? So in the, in the very back of the, the print, if you're looking at it from the front, hit okay. Hit slice, let's see what happens here. So one hour, 24 minutes. So does this go up a little bit? Might have gone up a little bit. But what you're what you're adding in time, you're saving in cosmetics. And so if we look at where the front of our bed is, uh, there you go. So here's the front of the bed. So it's trying to throw it back here in the back, right? And so it's gonna put it on one of these outside corners in the back. So that's always good to know. So if we start slicing one more time and hit edit, um, then we'll say, um, 
well, let's 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 change this up a little bit. So you get the idea there. So what if it's not a uh, nice square shapes or rectangles like that? What if we uh, what if we have something else, more like a cylinder or something like that? So let's bring in the primitive. We go to file, add primitive, and we'll do a cylinder, and we'll say we're going to make this um, fifty by one hundred. And I'm just going to have a whole bunch of segments because I want us to show it round. Uh, here you go. Here's our template. What did we set? I forget. So we're at fixed. So in the back. So this says the Z seems going right up the backside. Give me a zipper. So let's see if it's actually going to show that and how it looks here. So we go ahead and slice this. Slice the models. So let's go 21 hours. Holy much. Oh, I got infill and everything turned on. Uh, okay, that's fine. And again, you want to come over here and turn scenes on. Go so we can see what it looks like. So if we roll around here to the back, boy, this thing's really chugging along now. So there you go, you got a zipper running right up the back, and then you got a couple little wonky ones here and there. Um, but for the most part, um, it's it's running right up the back side. So you, so you know, if this is something where um, you're going to have a definite front and back, then this is a good uh, a good spot for you. Now, conversely, if we do something different here and we go back to slice edit and we just you know like a normal or not even a normal but like a rando just go hey put it wherever you want dude slice so let's do a preview here and we are here let's look at our scene again so now look at that it's all over the place so that is the the random sort of position that it's going to try and do if you try and randomize your z scene um, and, and, and this could be fine, right? If you've got your printer good and dialed in, um, and you don't have a problem with zits and blobs, um, this, this could be just fine for you. Um, depending on what material you use and all that good stuff. Um, so if you don't like the zipper, um, function with the zipper, the zipper type look, then randomizing this across the, the print is completely fine. And now you have a really nice way of visualizing the scenes just by ticking that little box. Uh, and again, if you want to do the travels and the retractions, you can tick those. And that's the same as ticking these boxes down here. Um, and so I think that's going to wrap this one up. Thanks a lot.